Okay, what do we got? Big suckers. Have you guys got ammo to compensate me for my trials and tribulations? I'll take I'll take batteries. Batteries are an acceptable currency. I need to find it. I probably should have actually meleeed him. There we go. That kind of didn't work. There we go. So it actually looks like all the stuff that's worth anything is up the other direction. I want to peek in here real quick. My big problem with everything, you know, topless and whatnot is time consuming. That unfortunately I've built my uh, my YouTube channel and my Twitch channel around the idea of like playing gobs of just like every game and ideally finishing as many as I possibly can. Uh, which means I've got tons of footage, but if I need to do something a little bit more focused, like go through a bunch of roguelike deck builders, uh, makes it a little tougher. Because I played most of them, but not all of them. And I guess I could do the video based on them anyway. But for, like, my Diablo, like, action RPG, like, here are the, here are some good uh, alternatives to Diablo 2 Resurrected, because... Uh, let's see, is this... This is something. What is this? Empty. That's what it is. What is out here? What am I doing? There we go. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a supply crate up there. If it's ammo, I might go for it, because I've banked a thousand supply. That's more, uh, I don't know. There's clearly a market for those games too, your Diablo alternative video did bonkers numbers. I'm actually, like, constantly blown away by that. I was wondering what those things were. And it's medical stuff. Don't care. But yeah, um, I very much want to spend some more time on it. I have one, uh, eh, kind of on, like, what makes a Metroidvania a Metroidvania. Uh, I've got one of those recorded and ready to go. The big issue is just that I need to have my voice in relatively peak condition, otherwise I'm going to sound really shitty. Um, which has been my issue lately because I just... Like, this fall has been brutal on my vocal cords. Let's see. Oh, can I just... There we go. It's like, I know I can get over here. Anything else in the storage unit? Not here, anyway. I might try and record stuff tomorrow morning anyway. Just because... Uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh. I thought what I thought that was a leaper for a second. I got very worried. I... I'm, oh, I see. It's a window. Not a door. So what is in here? Oh boy. Okay, I don't want to be near that. There she goes. I'm mostly getting better at fighting them. Oh, and there's some more gas there. Tragedy being, I'm carrying gas on my back already because I forgot to put it in my car. 
It seems like Lost Ark will be amazing. I've seen footage of it. And there's also Stalker, too. Uh, Stark, like, the Chernobyl one or whatever? I've never actually played the Stalker games. I might give it a shot. Unfortunately, I think it's very, like, open-worldy, which is a little spooky. I love the idea of open-world games, but boy, they're long. I could do, like, a handful of those before I start losing it, I think. This is the last open-world game that I really liked. I don't know, actually. Shit, did Biomutant come out this year? It did. That was a game. Craftopia. <laughs> I... I should actually play that again. I'm really curious, because I know they've got that, like, ridiculously overblown Poke Pokemon not clone with, like, guns and shit uh, called Pal World. I know they've got that on the horizon, and I'm really curious about what that's going to be. Wait, judging by the Dev Diaries, they've been putting quite a lot of work into it. Wait, really? Like, I don't want to... I don't want to be, uh... Dismissive here, but, like, when I first played that game, I thought it was a dung heap. I thought it was bad. I thought it was beyond bad. I, I actually thought that was, like, one of the best, worst games I'd ever played. You know, very much in those... That, like, bargain bin of buy this for five bucks and have an absolute blast for about four hours and then never think about it. Oh, my God, this looks like it's going to be bad. Hi. Ah! Ah! People? What the hell? What? What? I know Satisfactory has also had a lot of progress too. And I've been meaning to play it, but I want to I wanna get friends together for, like, a number of these games. Like, playing Satisfactory Solo is fun. Playing it with friends is, like, super chef's kiss. You know, making, making a tube tunnel cannon that fires you into the sunset. Like, that's good. Making a tube tunnel that fires one of your friends into the sunset when they didn't know what the plan was. That's even better. There are people out here, apparently. Hello! What is... What is this? What is going on here? Oh, well, supply crate. I'll take it. Whoa! And they don't seem to mind. Is it craft... No, not a crafting bench. Okay. Fire resistance might be useful. How much knowledge do I have? Not a whole heck of a lot, unfortunately. Grab that. What's the last level? Also 20. Alright. Okay, here's the question. Can I upgrade my gun? Not yet. Oh, that's melee parts. That's a battery, which is good. That's a scope. It's firearm parts. Presser. Knuckle dusters. Melee parts. Somebody said you could make gun parts, like improved gun parts that upgrade your... Uh, that upgrade your guns in some way? No idea how to do that. They finally started working on a stable dedicated server for multiplayer for Satisfactory. I think that would be good. That's the other thing I could potentially do with uh, Satisfactory is, yeah, just do a mass, like, multiplayer with fans. That wouldn't be the worst idea. I just really like uh, commentary, I guess. 
Uh, that sounds kind of dismissive. Hello, sir. I told you not to come here. I think we have mutual interests. Oh, the bravado on this one. Just for interest's sake before we string you up. What exactly do you think that mutual interest might be? I've seen the infected canisters in your city. That is not your concern. We're in control of this situation. Despite the insidious new wave, we are in control. We destroyed what was left of the canisters. You didn't, though. What? Explain yourself. We blew up the warehouse. We've been watching our people from afar. We do appreciate that until recently you haven't ventured beyond your wall. But if what you said is true about destroying the infection at the warehouse, perhaps we need to reconsider. We can be trusted. That will be for me to decide. We're not standing here amongst this ruin by virtue of trust. Where are you headed? Because I can assure you, you're not staying here. We can see your infection growing. Chasing a signal west. Radio signal. Why would you be doing that? We believe it's tied to an infection spreading device. Someone is operating these devices remotely? Perhaps you do have a use. You handled yourself well at our gates. Thank you, my lord. Ha 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 ha, yes. You'll do nicely. Can I go? As long as you live to find who is placing these devices and spreading this effing infection, you and your people are welcome here. I have a very simple rule. You don't F with me, I won't F with you. Every one of the heads you see here broke that rule. Is that understood? Yes, sir. That's easy. Cool. I like this guy. Normally, like, psychopath warlords in zombie... Uh, z zombie apocalypses are people that you don't generally want to, like, deal with or mess with. This guy seems relatively reasonable. I was definitely not ready... Oh, god damn it. I was definitely not ready for the absolute murder mosh outside the gates, but that is what it is. Alright, onwards. I was really hoping they'd have a shop. Wait, where are we driving? <laughs> we just absolutely got it into his gate. Yeah, I'm not seeing any weapon improvement. Weapon repair, yes. Okay. Because, yeah, I had a lot of people saying, like, you can, you can improve your weapons, and it's like, I am not... I'm not finding any inf information on that one. I know you can fix it, so it's not busted anymore. Oh! Yeah, that's good. Landmines! I am very much looking forward to the end, uh, end result of that. Okay. So we got a bunch of bad boys. And I no longer have the vaunted immunity that I've been effectively heavily reliant on this entire time. Oh boy. On the plus side. Okay. On the plus side, there's only a couple of these armored zombies. Should make my life easier. I would like to loot him. Thank you. Fortunately, it's more infection samples, which, like... Why? I don't mind. Okay, I'm just gonna have to wait. I'm probably also going to need to eat some beans here. Uh, let's wait until after we've dealt with these guys. Whoops. I'll take it. Okay, let's get some canned fruit, I guess. Oh, is that a yield telephone ring that went off before the landmine? Yeah, I think it might be an improvised explosive. Okay, anything interesting in here? Nope, not really. Convenience store is anything but interesting. 
really finding where the loot is either. Is that it? Is that the entire point of this place? All right. Instead of sticking around and wasting my time here, maybe I'll be able to find some more stuff. I think I'm just going to continue on. I'm living on borrowed time, and I don't want to mess around with an area that is... Uh, Actually, maybe not. Hold up. I see some stuff over here. Namely, ammo. Maybe. Nope. Bop case. Okay, now we're leaving. Okay. On to the next. Goodbye! Camps are all abandoned, marked by a pile of skulls and spikes. Worrying. I'm going to have to do some bullshit at the bridge, aren't I? I just thought of that. Yeah, it'll probably be fine. Maybe. I'm pretty sure this guy is armored. Sir, can you just... Can you just approach me like a regular person? Because I, I gotta get your bits off. Uh-oh. At least I can stunlock those. It's probably a good time for me to heal. Because, yeah, if I get poison gassed, I'm... I'm done so. I do have a 50% resistance to poison gassing, but at the same time, I is still a bad place to be and not something I want to mess around with. Yeah, it looks like we got a lot of these armored guys. Okay, we the weapons, back to wrench, perfect. gonna have to contend with that guy eventually anyway. Okay. He's clear. And it got dark. Huh. That'd be an interesting but really hard game uh video to do. What is the best zombie game? Because I'm thinking, you know, there's there's Days Gone, there's Left 4 Dead, there's World War Z. I realize, like, a number of these are kind of false equivalences. Oh, well, this is a bad place to be. Okay, there we go. Zombies ate my neighbors. End of the list. I've never played that one, actually. Whoop. Ow. Okay. Good to know. Gosh, yeah, there's a ridiculous amount of zombie game. Oh, it's the shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been looking for you. Okay, so he's got batteries. Mainly, I want these. I was actually really hoping for a little bit more than this. Oh. I'm gonna buy... Oh, not enough knowledge. Do I have a suppressor? No, I do not. Well, I'm gonna get rid of one of the extended mags. I don't know about the rest of these. Okay. I really should figure out how to do some alchemy. But honestly, I can just sell this for knowledge, and that's almost more practical for me. Okay. That's the extent of that. This is going to not buy cans. I thought he bought cans. Maybe they switched that away. 
Okay, but I want the suppressor. Because I feel like if I can make my air rifle silent, I'm going to be a happy camper. Uh, let's get rid of my... Get rid of those. And one piece of scrap. There we go. It didn't look like he has anything else. Okay, ranged weapons. Oh, right. I forgot I'm carrying multiple guns that I don't need. Frustratingly, I don't think there's much I can do about that. All right. Suppressor, rifle, equip, sports shot. There we go. All right, now my sports shot is about as peaked out as it can get. And yeah, it's dead silent. Oop. Let's go for just melee resilience. The vamp HP is kind of an interesting idea, but not that practical. Oh, this is going to be kind of fun. Oh, I really should not be going through water like that. Not a good judge. The only zombie-related game I play is Seven Days to Die. It's more of a crafting and building angle. It might not appeal to purists. I, honestly, Seven Days to Die is actually probably one of the better ones. I think my only disappointment with it... Is that you couldn't do more with, like, uh, trapping and base defense. Like, if you could cross... Seven Days to Die with, like, a little bit of what Fortnite was trying to be. Really, if you could... If you could make uh, Seven Days to Die with Fortnite traps or Orcs must Die traps, I'd be a happy camper. Oh, there's some fuel there. Shoot. Like, there's a little bit of it in Seven Days to Die, don't get me wrong. But I want, like, the whole shebang. But no, I, I definitely would love more kind of open world, or not open world, sandbox zombie survival stuff that actually, like, feels meaningful. And I think the whole kind of there are big hordes that come your way every once in a while. Oh, gosh, how cool would that be? Uh, if instead of every seven days, it's there are these giant hordes that just walk the map. Maybe randomly generated, maybe uh, maybe there's a, like a rhyme or reason to them. But you have to keep an eye out in case they come for you. Um, so you can just have a base like in the lowlands and you have no warning. But, you know, at some point you just kind of notice that the, uh... You kind of notice that the horizon to the west is is dark. And then you realize, oh, that's a giant zombie horde. They're just going to rip through my entire base just by, like, sheer numbers. I love State of Decay. I haven't played the second one yet. I liked the first one, but I got kind of bored really fast. Uh, you know, I got... I moved my settlement into kind of like one of the more southern cities. Oops. And that was kind of the extent of what I did, and I never came back for more. It seemed like that had some really neat neat bits to it. I just wanted to pick her out before anything. Actually, let's uh switch out this back to the Death Adder. Main reason being I wanted to get rid of him. That's a solution. There we go. There we go.
this game seems way better than State of Decay 2. I don't think they're... Ri there are different angles on the same kind of general idea where you're trying to keep a settlement alive. Except for in State of Decay 2, you're like trying to keep your people alive and not infected. And I think there's even like a cure that you can make, uh, which is kind of neat. Whereas this one is, you are playing as a doomed character. And I think that's super compelling. But this is less sandboxy and no town building. Let's, um, start going for the automatic damage so I can use that SMG. I'm just picking up every meta upgrade. It's a good feeling, actually. Okay. We got a crafting bench, and we got a lot of other things. Oh, there's more here. More encyclopedias. We might be able to get another upgrade. Well, I think we just got another suppressor. Whoops. Two more suppressors. Alright. This complex is freaking nuts. Got all the goods. Okay, what do we keep investing in? Reload speed, maybe? Eh, I might just... Wait. Okay. Is that everything? Actually, I think that is everything. One of the things I loved about the Walking Dead comics, they're one of the few media to bring up the concept of zombie horde mentality and the dangers of zombie stupidity. Yeah. Like, I just think it would be really interesting if you had to keep an eye out for them. You know, in Seven Days to Die, it's it's like clockwork. Every seven days goes Blood Moon, then you have to worry about it. But like, what if you, what if you actually had to work with other players, or just yourself, putting out like little traps and tripwires and things to keep an eye on like, hey, is there a horde coming? And, you know, maybe you got some special undead kind of around that you need to consider, and, well, this is going to be bad. A bridge too far. Okay. Luckily, poison doesn't kill me the way it did anymore. It used to be damn near... damn near lethal. Especially once I get down to low HP, of course it's going to be lethal. Oh, I've still got the stupid bandage out. They really do not give you any more antivirals at this point. It's not like you can stock up on them. They're one of the only things in this game that you can't carry multiple of. Find the engine room. Uh-huh. This seems promising. What the hell? I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, shoot. just going. I think I am. At least the river ain't too deep. That looks rough. Yeah, frustratingly enough in this game, you can't aim down. Which is just kind of a baffling concept. Okay, this seems kind of viable. Just wish I had some antivirals or something. 
Ugh, but it looks like I'm just out of luck. Okay, anything in here? That's gonna... This is gonna go bad, ain't it? Yeah, did Wonder just dodge through, dodge roll through a wall? I did. Okay, now I have to find the control room. Uh oh. Probably over here somewhere. Managed to avoid that. Not walk absent mindedly into the poison trying to shoot things. This whole silencer business has actually been really nice to me. level am I? Oh, I'm shooting a stupid cart. Nope. Okay, there we go. More manuals. I don't want to spend too much time looting at this point. I don't think this is the right way. Gotta be back over here. Oh, boy. Could be there. If she came out of that section, maybe. Nah, here it is. This is weirdly mild. Which means I'm going to have to do one hell of a last stand on this section. Okay. Uh, While well, I'm here, Death Adder. Switch back to the SMG. If there was ever a spot for this, it would be here and now. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to eat my beans. There we go. And this ain't no Skyrim where you can just kind of go. Well, there's more fuel. How much do I hate myself? I do. They're not as aggro. Where the hell is the fuel? Oh, there it is. Oh, let's hope I fixed my engine enough. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. You can't stop me. Travel to the unknown. Goodbye! Hey, Anna. How's it going? Thank you for the 32 months resub. This looks fun. Yeah, it is a zombie survival roguelike where you are infected 
and you are trying to get as far as you possibly can before you die. There's no cure, at least that you know of. Sunken City cleared. Earning the trust of Lord Z and finding a way to lower the bridge to the Sunken City, or bridge in the Sunken City, you are now further from the colony than you could have imagined. The path through the flooded city is much clearer now, and all future volunteers will be able to skip locations in the Sunken City. Neat. 